Hello friends, in this video lecture uh, we will discuss the basic difference between uh, front wheel drive, rear wheel drive and four wheel drive. First of all, what is the definition of automobile? An automobile is a self-propelled vehicle generally driven by IC engine and uh, it is used for transportation of passengers and uh, goods on ground. The examples are car, bus, truck, scooter, etc. Now we will classify the automobile according to the transmission of power to the axle, whether the front axle, rear axle or both axle are driving axle, we can classify the automobile front wheel drive, rear wheel drive, four wheel drive and all wheel drive. So first of all, we will discuss front engine front wheel drive. In this type of uh, chassis layout, the engine is fitted at front and uh, drive is also given to the front wheels, means there is no propeller shaft is used in this type of layout and uh, differential are included in the same assembly. Here uh, front axle is a live axle and uh, rear axle is a dead axle. Live axle means if the uh, power is directly transmitted to the front axle then it is called live axle. Due to all assemblies at uh, front side, clutch, gearbox and engine, it makes uh, very difficult to accommodate the steering mechanism. Then uh, what are the advantages and disadvantages of the front engine front wheel drive cars? Due to more weight placed on driving front wheels, the vehicles has uh, more adhesion on road, hence good road holding capacity even on curved and slippery roads. This layout also provide low floor area since uh, no propeller shaft is used and uh, the differential is also placed at front instead of rear. The clutch, gearbox and uh, final drive usually made as one unit thereby cost of the vehicle is also reduced. Some of the disadvantage of uh, this type of uh, layout are the weight on the driving front wheels is reduced during acceleration and uh, climbing of a steep gradient due to weight of the vehicle shifting to the rear wheels and result in decreased tractive effort. The steering mechanism becomes more complicated due to accommodation of engine, clutch, gearbox and uh, final drive all are at front of the vehicle. Now we will discuss rear wheel drive. Uh, there is a two option for a rear wheel drive. The first option is a engine is mounted front side and we can transmit the power to the rear axle. Then it is called front engine rear wheel drive. And the second option is the engine is mounted back side and power is also transmitted to the rear axle. Then it is called rear engine rear wheel drive. So first of all we will discuss front engine rear wheel drive. In case of a front engine rear wheel drive, the engine is fitted at the front side of the car including clutch and gearbox while uh, drive to the rear axle is given with the help of propeller shaft. This chassis layout is one of the oldest and uh, still remain popular for a heavy commercial vehicle. The advantages of this layout are the weight distribution is uh, reasonably balanced between the front and rear wheels which gives a uh, good handling characteristic. Due to engine and uh, radiators are at front side, it takes uh, full benefit of uh, natural air streams created by vehicle movement and uh, reduce the power losses for a larger fan. In this type of drive, during the braking, weight of the vehicle is fitted to front wheels and uh, weight on uh, rear wheels decreases results in uh, decreased uh, braking effort developed in second option if engine is fitted at rear side and uh, drive is also given to the rear wheel then it will become rear engine rear wheel drive in this type of layout, the engine is fitted backside of the car and drive is also given to the rear wheels. This arrangement uh, eliminates the necessity of a propeller shaft because engine is mounted near the 
driven well. The passengers are kept away from inconvenience like noise, heat and fumes because engine at back of the vehicles. The disadvantage of uh, this type of drives are efficient cooling become very difficult to obtain due to air passes through side part of the engine body. In case of a front engine uh, front wheel drive the uh, engine is directly exposed to the atmosphere okay means uh, uh, more area in contact with the atmosphere but when the engine is at back side okay at that time air passes through the side part of the engine body so we cannot achieve the efficient cooling as compared to the front engine front wheel drive now we will discuss uh, four wheel drive and all wheel drive why we are using four wheel drive in desert area or we can say on off road to get enough traction between wheels and road surfaces to move vehicle on slick surfaces like dirt slippery roads, sand roads, snow surface and muddy roads we require grip. It is only possible in four wheel drive and all wheel drive. In four wheel drive we are having option to convert it into two wheel drive by manual shifting or uh, equipped with switching mechanism. You can select two wheel drive under normal running condition and uh, four wheel drive on off road situation. While in case of a all wheel drive, all wheels will receive the power every time. This is the basic difference between the four wheel drive and all wheel drive. In case of a four wheel drive, we are having option to convert it into two wheel drive whenever it is not required. But in case of a all wheel drive, there is no any option to convert it into two wheel drive. All wheel will receive the power every time. Okay, this is the basic difference between all wheel drive and four wheel drive. The advantages of the four wheel drive and uh, all wheel drive are obtain better traction in uh, slippery surfaces and uh, on off road, more balance and uh, excel load distribution, even tire wear and uh, you can achieve the more grip uh, between the road and tire surfaces on uh, uh, unequal surfaces. Okay, these are the advantages of the four wheel drive and all wheel drive. The disadvantages are weight of the vehicle is increased because here we are using two differential. So mechanical efficiency is also reduced because uh, we know that uh, whenever we are using two differential at that time the friction losses is increased. And we know that mechanical efficiency means output upon input. Output means brake power and input means indicated power. An indicated power means BP plus FP. So whenever the friction losses uh, it will be increases. So at that time our output will be reduced and finally the mechanical efficiency is also reduced. As well as the cost of the vehicle is also increase. The another disadvantages are less fuel economy than uh, two wheel drive. So these are the disadvantages of the four wheel drive and all wheel drive. So this is the basic comparison between front wheel drive, rear wheel drive, four wheel drive and all wheel drive. I hope this content it will be helpful to you to understand the basic concept of automobile.